there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia. This is Sonia with an I. And today I am doing a old school April book tag. I was kindly tagged by Storm from Storm Reads. This uh, tag was created by Kritz Reed, K-R-I-T-Z Reed. Um, go check out those channels. I really think this is fun. I love anything old school, you know, um, anytime that we can be nostalgic or I can be nostalgic always uh, makes me smile. So uh, once again, Storm, thank you. It was fun to check this out. And before we get started, I'm going to have to draw some attention to the fact that I am wearing a Coca-Cola rugby from 1988 that was featured in my freshman year school picture. And here I will pop that here. When you're done laughing at my hair, we can continue. All right, so let's move on. The very first is called Reading Rainbow. Reading rainbow, butterfly in the sky. You didn't come here to hear me sing, did you? Never mind, sorry. Anyway, I can't not sing that. I mean, I love that theme song. I loved Reading Rainbow. I would get so excited for that. Uh, so question number one. I'm going to get, first of all, this is going to be a chatty video. So you, if you want to pause now and go get something to drink or go get a snack and come back, I totally understand. Because when I start talking about memories and nostalgia, there's probably going to be a story or two. And I'm going to probably wax nostalgic a little bit. And I will apologize for that now. Um, but I hope you enjoy this. So I like learning about other people. Maybe you will like this too. So grab a snack and come back and we'll keep on we'll keep on moving we'll roll out if you're 80s kid you know what that means so first of all <laughs> reading rainbow number one what book or author or series got you into reading excuse me i will say i don't remember ever not being a reader i can't think of a book or story or an author that got me into reading because i don't ever remember not reading um, my mom read The Hobbit and Wind in the Willows and, uh, those types of stories to me when I was a little, a little kid before I could read myself. Um, I read Corduroy, Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, any William Stieg book. Um, I loved the Sesame Street books, the little golden books. I would say little golden books probably were what I read the most as a kid. Um, and, and they, because they came with all sorts of themes or whatnot, this is one of my originals. It's the Sesame Street, the Together book, the found family in this and how we help each other. It, it's a common theme in the books that I love. I love this one too. This is one of my OGs. Um, I loved this book because it was found family. It was people helping each other and, and whatnot. Uh, this was my favorite audiobook. I had this on record. And I was obsessed with the Lone Ranger and anything horses, anything horse related. So uh, I, yes, I loved this. I, um, it was on a 45 and for kids, those of you who don't know what a 45 is, it's like uh, the, you know, how Taylor makes the albums. These were small and it would beep and you would turn the page. And I listened to this on the cassette and I didn't need the cassette because I could just look at the picture and remember the story without reading the word. Yeah. It's kind of sad, and I don't think I explained that well, but you get my meaning. Um, other books that I read that I loved reading when I was a kid. There's so many, like, it makes my head spin. Um, I definitely, I love, like I said, the little golden books. Um, I read... I read a little bit of everything, honestly. If there was a, a book at the library or a book in the school library or a book at home, I was pretty much reading it. Um, number two says, what author or book gave you your current favorite or introduced you to your favorite genre? Well, if we're talking mystery, it's probably Harriet the Spy. Um, I loved Harriet the Spy. And uh, between Scooby-Doo and Harriet the Spy and watching Murder, She Wrote with my granny, I just, I didn't have any other choice. I was going to read mysteries and love them. Um, fantasy would have to be when I was in fifth grade. Mrs. Reese uh, read uh, Madeline Lee Angle, Madeline Lee Angle's uh, Wrinkle in Time. And I named my Cabbage Patch doll after the main character. I can still, if I close my eyes, I can still feel 
the wind blowing from the windows because they were open when she start, when she would read the book because it was kind of in the spring. And I can still see the gleam of the wood floors and I could still see the person who sat in front of me the back of their head. I It, it imprinted on me. I loved that story and it really opened, my, opened me up to fantasy and science fiction. Even though, I mean, I'd read a little bit of it or was exposed a little that for some reason that book stuck with me. So that was definitely a favorite book of mine. Um, some other, I, I really liked, um, I liked comic books as a kid. I, I read them at, you know, we call them graphic novels now, but a lot of them were set up like graphic no novels, but were comics. I remember I had a Star Wars one that I absolutely loved. Uh, so there's so many, but I'm just blanking out because there's so many and I can't think of all of them. So, uh, Mixtape is the next section. What was the first concert you ever went to? The first concert that I ever went to was New Kids on the Block, sold out Bush Stadium. I went the uh, in 1990, the day before my first day of my junior year, and we didn't go to sleep. Uh, I went to school in the same concert clothes that I wore, and this was like, we're talking August in St. Louis, which is hotter than Satan's toes. And... Um, yeah, I wore like the thermal uh, pants with the blue jeans all ripped up uh, over them and a Flav of Flav clock. Yeah. And I said, I love you, Donnie. I was, it was quiet and I screamed it and he said, thank you and pointed to me. So I've always had teacher voice. Yeah. That might be sad. <laughs> I'm getting a little embarrassed talking about some of this. Is that, is that natural and normal? Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, number four, what band or artist do you love th that you never got to see in concert? That would be Prince. Um, yeah, I I have loved Prince since I was probably way too young to be loving Prince. My favorite cousin, when I was a little girl, I idolized her and she had Prince posters all over her wall. And she, you know, I'm talking like this is when 1999 came out and I was way too young to be enjoying that because, yeah, some of it was kind of the lyrics are a little adult but I've loved Prince ever since and still do. So the next one is, um, the next category is I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, okay. I always feel like somebody's watching me. You didn't come here to hear me sing. Sorry. I'm, I'm just going to sing the titles. Uh, number five, what was your favorite cartoon while growing up? I can't answer that. <laughs> um, Oh, when I was little, little, I liked a lot of the children's shows, like uh, Letter People, Electric Company. Uh, it's I see, I almost sang that too, Electric Company, um, Mr. Rogers, Captain Kangaroo, and of course, The Muppet Show. Uh, so I didn't really love cartoons until I got a little bit older, and then it was like Saturday morning cartoons. It was um, Muppet Babies, one of my favorites. Um, it was, uh, Galaxy High, Kid Video. Oh my gosh, I was so in love with the, the singer of Kid Video. Oh, um, Fat Albert, uh, Scooby-Doo, Jetsons, Flintstones, um, Bugs Bunny, uh, there's so many. Oh yeah, He-Man and She-Ra was, oh yeah. Transformers, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, um, Justice League. Uh, yes, I, I, I love them all. Smurfs, Smurfs, Rainbow Bright, Strawberry Shortcake, Shirt Tails, Get Along Gang. Love them all. It's, I told you, I, I, I didn't have a favorite. I really didn't. I think, honestly, my favorite cartoons to watch were anything that was Disney because... Disney, we didn't have Disney Channel then. So if you saw something Disney, it was usually like in the wonderful world of Disney that was on Sunday nights for an hour. And when they would show videos like nature videos or whatever, I'd get upset. I'd be like, Ugh, whatever. And now I love it. But as a kid, I just wanted to see the cartoons. Um, so it was such a treat to see Disney. I didn't have a VCR. I didn't have any way to just, you know, pop something in and watch a Disney watching a Disney cartoon was a really big deal. So, um, yeah, I, I loved those. Number six says, name a TV show or movie that is tied to a good memory. It's hard to, um, I would say 
TV show. When I was little bitty, um, Dukes of Hazard was my favorite TV show. And I remember I had a Dukes of Hazard big wheel and I thought I was Daisy Duke and I cut my jeans off and I got my butt blistered for it. Um, I take our big wheel. We had a stairs that went to the basement and I took the big wheel down the basement stairs. I'm lucky I have any inner parts whatsoever after doing that as many times as I did. All you would see is my mom would say, all you would see is see little pigtails go down the stairs. Yeah. Um, we always played, we played Dukes of Hazard. My brother had the Knight Rider big wheel. So we played Knight Rider, um, movie. When I was in high school, Still Magnolias was one of my favorite movies. We had a Still Magnolias graduation party. I dressed like Weezer. I wish we still had pictures because it was fun. Uh, name a movie from childhood that you still love today. Uh, Goonies. Goonies Never Say Die. Goonies was my teen favorite movie. I, I mean, I'm talking early teens, but it was my absolute favorite movie. I I just adored that movie. As a young, young kid, I would say The Black Stallion. I loved horses, so The Black Stallion and uh, Black Beauty. Those were books that I also liked, too, that I forgot in the other one. But, yes, I would say that's definitely um, that's definitely where my brain went. Uh, na a number eight, name your first TV or movie crush. Oh, Y'all, I was fickle as a kid. I had a crush on John Denver. I had a crush on uh, Bo Duke, uh, John Schneider. Maybe it's just John's. I don't know. John Schneider. Uh, I had a crush on Grizzly Adams. I had a crush on Kenny Rogers. I had a thing for big burly guys. I still do. Um, I had a crush on, as a little, little kid, those were the, you know, as I got a little older, it was Kurt Cameron, Sean Astin, um, yeah, I kind of loved them. Uh, the Nelson brothers. Um, my, I had a crush on Michael Jackson when I was eight. I was really kind of obsessed with Michael Jackson too. Uh, so yeah, I had a lot of, I was pretty fickle. The next section is called Gotta Catch Them All. And what was a toy you were obsessed with or collected as a kid? Yeah. Now, I will say, I was She-Ra. She-Ra was my gal. I was obsessed with the She-Ra toys, and I was a little bit older. Like, I was almost 11 or 12 when I started playing with those, or when I had so many of them. Uh, strawberry Shortcake was the other one. I had a Strawberry Shortcake bedroom, and I had all of the Strawberry Shortcake dolls, and my bedroom smelled like Bath and Body Works because of all the hair smells. But yes, this is my, this is my actual She-Ra doll. Yep, she's that old. This was my brother's he-man doll and I actually um those of, most of you who know me know that my brother passed away in 2005 and when we were uh packing stuff and moving my mom my other mom from one place to another I found his castle gray skull his snake mountain and all of the figures and I now have them what's really funny if you'll allow me a family story here um I was wrecked because my Shira doll was gone. And I thought that my cousin Leslie took her because my cousin Leslie would come and visit and she's six years younger than me. And so she would play with my toys and then sometimes she would want to take them home and she would cry. And my mom would be like, you're too old for that. Let her take it. Let that baby take it home. Let that baby take it home. And I would get upset because it was still my toy and I don't care. I was big for the age I was. Like when I was 12, I look, or when I was 10, I looked like I was 16. So people treated me like that sometimes, which is not the most fair thing, but this isn't therapy. So moving on. Anyway, I was mad at her. Like I was wrecked with her for years. I was so mad at her about it. And when we cleaned out, when we cleaned out the garage or cleaned out and found these things, I found this later and I'm, I'm saying my late thirties and I was like, oh my gosh, I thought Leslie stole it. <laughs> and I probably now owe her an apology. When I was a little, little kid, I, I was, I, I was obsessed with playing school and I was obsessed with the schoolhouse and these little guys. And I did not have them, but my grandmother did. And my grandmother had the the farm, the um, the house, the farm, and the school. 
and I loved playing with these. And I liked playing with them by myself or with my cousin Terry, who was closer to my age, because then we, I could be whatever I wanted to. But I was the youngest and I was the girl for quite some time before my cousin Leslie came around. And so anytime the older kids would play, they always made me be the dog. Yeah, there might have been therapy, but yes, I, I loved these. So the next, the next category, and I'm sorry, I'm using my phone here. Um, I don't have them memorized. So the next one is Pac-Man Fever. And name it says name a game board, name a board game or video game you associate with your childhood. Um, OG, Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers. My brother and I spent so much time playing that. Um, so many good memories playing that game. Um, when I would jump, my mom would make fun of me. She would laugh because I would, I would jump myself with, you know, as I'm playing, I'm jumping and I'm lifting my, my right leg. Um, yeah. Uh, OG Super Mario. Uh, we actually have that still in, I, when I need to get closer to my brother, I, I play it. Uh, board game. Oh, Clue is my favorite, was my favorite then, is my favorite now. Um, life, the game of life. I loved life, loved getting married and writing the names down. We used to keep a notebook of all of our whole ga life games. We were like dreaming, uh, how many kids and all of that. We named all the children. Uh, Hi-Ho Cheerio, uh, Shoots and Ladders, Candyland. I loved them all. I love games anyway, I still do. Uh, the next one is She's Got the Look, name a clothing or a trend that was popular when you were a kid. Oh, goodness. Well, this was when I was in my early teens. Slouch socks, tight rolling your pants, uh, penny loafers with pennies in them. Um, as a ki little kid, prairie dresses. I loved prairie dresses when I was a little bitty girl. Um, those It was just my favorite thing to wear. Uh, I used to wear head, like the head scarves because I had ear issues. So I, they would put a head scarf on me, but I thought it was cute. So I thought it was fashionable. Uh, jelly shoes, pop beads, the necklaces that you could twist and put the clasp around. The, uh, the, we used to take safety pins and put beads on them. The little, uh, three little beads that look like they have little three heads on them and the circle in the center. And you put them together like friendship beads, friendship bracelets when you would braid and do um, little accessories that were cheap. And I could either create or get at the flea market or something for next to nothing. Loved it. Uh, I wore huge earrings in high school. I had the whole Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation, Great Big Hoop, and then the Great Big Hoop with Key. Yeah. That's just a few things. I'm sure there are many. Uh, acid wash jeans, guest sweatshirts. Um, yes. Oh, the, the tennis shoes where you would pull, the, I think they were Asics, you would pull the color blocks out of them and you could change the colors on the sides. Yeah. Uh, the next is I Want Candy. Name a childhood snack or candy you wish were still made. Uh, I don't really have a candy that I ate then that I can't access now. Um, I did really, I also didn't, wasn't allowed to eat candy or eat any sort of sugar, anything until I was probably, um, I was about seven or eight before I was allowed to eat anything like that. So I don't really have a young childhood favorite. Um, a, a little in older in childhood, I used to love the Jolly, the flat Jolly Ranchers. Um, they were long and flat instead of being just like the little squares. Uh, I used to love gum. I gum, it, Big League Chew, uh, Zebra Stripes, except you three chews and Zebra Stripes tasted like, you know, rocks when you were in, in after that. Uh, I loved ice cream that we used to call the Ding Dong Truck, which ice cream truck would come by and I would always get the Mickey Mouse bars that were like the ears were coated in chocolate and the crunchy chocolate and then it was chocolate ice cream and then the Mickey Mouse face was vanilla ice cream. Those were my favorite. Um, and bomb pops. I used to love bomb pops. So yeah. Uh, Sharkleberry Fin Kool-Aid when I was a young teenager and into high school. Bring that back. Please bring back Sharkleberry Fin Kool-Aid. Don't make it crap though because 
Sometimes they bring it back and it doesn't taste the same. Or maybe I don't taste it. Maybe I don't taste it the same. Who knows? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, 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 um, Cheetos Paws. Cheetos Paws, when I was in high school, was my favorite snack. And it was basically a big Cheeto that was in the shape of a paw, but it had a crunchiness to it that was between a cheesy poof and a Cheeto Cheeto. It was in the middle. Oh, I loved those. Loved them. And bar none candy bars. So, yes. Now it's time for the tagging. Friends who, first of all, if you want to do this, where's my camera? There we go. Haha, <laughs> tag, tag, tag. You're tagged if you want to do this. Uh, but I'm, I will mention a few people. I'm going to mention my cousin Fiona at Reads and Eats. I would absolutely love to hear your answers to this. I am going to uh, tag my friend Laura at Laura Reads. I'm curious to hear what you would say too. I, I've, I've looked through your nostalgia box, so I would like to see what else, you know, uh, your answers would be. Um, also, let's see, how about, uh, Tina from Tina's Craft Corner? I would love to see your, she is a young person and I'd love to see what her childhood memories, are probably going to make me feel old, but <laughs> childhood memories are. So, um, once again, this was so fun. Thank you so much for tagging me, Storm. And thank you if you are still here. You are a champion. So what I would like for you to do if you are still here is just to pick an icon, pick an emoji that reminds you of your childhood, whether that be a sucker or ice cream or uh, an animal or something. Uh, please please choose something because you are an OG. Thank you. You are, you are a real one. I, I appreciate you for that. Um, if no one has told you today that you are, you make the world a better place just by being here, you should, sure do. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend with me. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate you. If you would please like this, if you haven't subscribed, please do because support is absolutely free. And as Tip, my friend Tiffany from Beach Bum Bookworm says, she is absolutely correct. I'm having so much fun. This was so much fun. Thank you again for allowing me this kind of time to blather on about my childhood. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Keep reading and happy reading. Bye now.